this video, we're going to talk about seven things you should know about contracts in Germany. So stick around if you want to know what they are. Hey, I'm Jen and I'm from Guatemala. And I'm Yvonne and I'm German. And together we're from SimpleGermany.com where we help expats settle into life in Germany more smoothly. <laughs> um, also make sure to stick around until the end of the video because there's a new law coming in 2022 that you should be aware of. So why are we making a whole video about contracts? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Because contracts have affected my life personally <laughs> in Germany in so many ways because I did not know the rules, right? That I've gotten right. into trouble with the Shufa. I've gotten my mobile contract extended. I've got additional payings. I've, I've been screwed over contracts in Germany. I must be very honest. So this is an attempt. So if you're new here or you're already here for some time, for you to be aware of your rights and what you need to pay attention to when getting a contract in Germany. Absolutely, yes. So thing number one on the list is that contracts uh, are a thing and they usually last two years. I do, yeah. So now <laughs> everything that we're going to say here in this video is usually right. I yes. would say there's always exceptions, um, but just in a general over a holistic view yeah. um, um, on, a, on a standard basis, like contracts in terms of telecommunication, gas and electricity, a gym. gym. Um, I would say those are like the classics yeah. uh, contracts last two years. Um, and um, you're kind of you, you're tied, you, for, you're those tied two years. for them. Exactly, there is yeah. no alternative. It's a two year contract. You take it and or you leave it. You cannot say after eight months, oh, I want to switch or I it's just not possible. Yeah. Just as a side note, a lot of these companies, um, when you are making the contract, you can always ask because they are they allow you to cancel the contract before the two years if you're leaving the country. Right. If you're leaving the country or if, let's say, you're, you're moving and your gym is not available in the next city, that is one reason how to get out of it. Yeah. So even if it's a two-year contract, if you're moving after a while, it's okay. <laughs> but still, you should know. Two years. Now, the super interesting thing, I know, not yet, number two on our list is that uh, most contracts have this Abo. Is it an abo? It's not an abo. No, you call no. it abo, but it's not. It's oh. just that um, the moment you sign a contract, you usually also sign a direct, direct debit. Yes. Uh, Lastschriftverfahren in German, which means that the, the amount you pay per monthly monthly um, payment gets subtracted automatically from your bank account. Yeah, so that's so, a good thing because you don't need to worry about it. It's a bad thing because if you forget about it, it just keeps on happening. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we just point this out because this might be different from other countries, right? Where the banking um, and charging system uh, is, is might be different. Like with a check, for example, as we heard in the US. <clears throat> Anyways, so number three is that uh, you, if you want to cancel a contract the right way, let's say like if you take that to your plan and you're not leaving, you need to give a three month notice period. That's right. a lot, man. So yeah. again, generally speaking, um, a cancellation period is three months. Mm -hmm. And that is um, with the contracts in the areas that we just mentioned, but also um, like in your rental contract, yes. um, most often not in your work contract, although mm -hmm. there are differences. Um, but that's just the general expectation. Also, I mean, we Germans have been raised in the ah, three months cancellation period, mm -hmm. uh, notice period. So um, just, you know, think ahead of time because sometimes, and if you miss those three months by one day, it gets extended. That is here number four. If you do miss that timeline, it gets automatically renewed for another year. So if you miss it by one day and you really wanted to change, you might end up paying 15 more months because wow. the one year plus the three months that, you know. Oh, wow. You that's to... true. Yeah. So that's why in Simple Germany, uh, we strive to find services out there that have a simple contract schema, right? One that you can actually cancel on a monthly basis. Right. Because we have learned through... My painful experience that it's very easy to lose track or to, you know, just be fooled a little bit and then... And it just ties you down. Yeah. Um, I think it's a very outdated concept also, which mm. of course, if you think it, of it economically, of the side of the company, so oh, it gives, for them, them, it's super it gives awesome. them security, yeah. right? Yeah. But uh, from a consumer perspective, of course, it's um, something you should be aware of. Number five on our list is that when you decide to quit the contract, most often than not, you're going to have to send a written letter via postal mail. Emails very rarely work, I would say. Sometimes they do. It really depends on the provider. Yeah, but yeah. generally speaking, it has to be a letter. Um, we have prepared a template in German for you. If you are interested in looking how to cancel your contract, you can download it in the link in the description box below. That you can, It's an editable template that you can put your information and this will cancel uh, whatever service you want to cancel. Um, so that's very interesting that you cannot just, you know, cancel it on the website or whatever. You yeah. have to send a written letter. It can be printed, right? It doesn't have to be written, but it has to be through postal mail. Yeah, most likely, yes. Again, this is a general, general um, scheme. Yeah. Number six on our list, oh, this is where I've also been screwed a little bit, is that contracts can be sold to you on the phone. Yes. 
And this has happened to me with uh, telecommunications, actually, that uh, someone calls me, I think I understand what they're saying in Germany, in German, which is something completely different. Um, you say yes. I say yes. And then suddenly I'm tied to an extension or an additional or a bonus. Or whatever. So this is basically just a shout out. Like if you don't fully master the German language, try to stay away from any like marketing calls. Yeah. Um, and do your contracts uh, online or in, in person, depending on what you prefer, what's available. Um, to to know really what you're getting. Yeah, also. And even if the agent speaks English, when you do the signing of the contract on the phone, usually they put like this recording and that has to be in German. So even if the explanation was in English, it could happen that then in the real German translation, they missed something, they didn't tell you, and then that's what, that's what happens, a little miscommunication, right? Yeah, not so easy. <laughs> okay, number seven on our list is... Uh, Even though contracts are such a complicated, tiny down process, there's a cool thing, which is the right to withdraw. Correct. Yes. So consumer rights in Germany are actually um, very powerful and, and the lobby is, is quite strong. Uh, so you have for contracts that you um, sign online uh, via telephone um, outside an actual office building, um, you have the right to withdraw for 14 days. Mm -hmm. So that is like a general law. Okay. Um, not just for like online shopping, but also for, for like telecommunications or, or any, any in that sort, uh, which is pretty cool because in case you do get kind of like into a contract you didn't intend, um, just make sure that in those 14 days you withdraw. Yeah. Um, and that uh, usually every homepage or uh, any provider has also needs to inform you of your withdrawal right hmm. and if you go into the terms and conditions just look for the the, the word withdraw or in german it is a uh, widerruf um for for you to read how it works because also there it might be a written letter that you need to send or something like yeah. that. yeah also there are exceptions because you said if you sign a contract outside an office building um so that means if you go to a, let's say if i want a phone contract and i go personally to the shop mm -hmm. and i sign the contract there mm -hmm. in their shop mm -hmm. do i have the right to withdraw not by law no mm. so if you exactly if you purchase something in a shop you don't have the um, right to withdraw by law but Some companies, of course, still grant it to you out of uh, goodwill. Hmm. In Germany, you say kulanz, because, of course, they still want you to purchase in store, right? Hmm. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. And there are also some exceptions to this right of withdrawal that we have here. Maybe it's easier if we read it. Yeah, um, the right of withdrawal does not um, apply to construction and land purchase agreements. Ah, okay. um, it also does not apply to um, like package travel deals that you purchase online. Um, in German, that's called pauschalreise. Hmm. So if you get like the flight, the hotel, and the, I don't know what altogether. Um, it does not also apply for like passenger transportation contracts, for example, a taxi ride or like a plane ticket. Mm -hmm. um, it does not apply for medical treatment contracts. Oh. And it also doesn't apply for um, like contracts that um, the service is provided and paid for immediately. Um, and it costs less than 40 euro. So the perfect example here would be an ebook that you buy yeah. online. So you buy online, you cannot, you don't, you lose your right of withdrawal. Unless again, the um, the service provider says like here, 14 day money back guarantee. Ah, okay, right? yeah, If yeah. That's their choice to offer that to you. Okay, yeah. but that again is goodwill, but they don't have to do that by exactly. law. Exactly. Yeah, yes. super interesting. Yeah. If you do get into trouble and you feel like you have been mishandled or or you would like to file a complaint to, uh, Or you need support. Or you need yeah. support or anything. Wait, let me read this to you. There is uh, the Verbraucherzentrale, uh -huh. which is a consumer protection association or agency or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And there you can file complaints and they will support you and help you out in, in clearing uh, situations. Right. And they are in every in every town and every city. Um, just Google your, your city with Verbraucherzentrale. <laughs> um, and I mean, they won't necessarily help you out in terms of solve the issue for you, but they will give you, they consult you and they will tell you if this is Uh, lawful or not um, and, and guide you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. There is some light at the end of the tunnel because as of June of 2021, a new la law <laughs> has been passed, right? It has yeah. been passed already, yeah. which will take effect in 2022, actually, for all new contracts. So if you have an old contract, this unfortunately will not apply. But if you will have new contracts in 2022, the following cool things will change. So Here we go. Yeah. Exactly. It's a new consumer protection law, so it will be a big step into more flexibility for consumers, yes. Yeah. So the super cool thing, number one, is that the notice period gets reduced to one month. So instead of three months, now you just need to give a one month of notice. Yes. Which is already pretty cool. And the outer renewal is wiped off the table. 
meaning if you have a two-year contract, which the two-year minimum uh, contract still remains, uh, and if you have that and you miss your one-month uh, cancellation period, you can still cancel a month afterwards oh. because after your minimum um, period of contract ends, you remain, you keep the one-month cancellation period at any time of day. So if you cancel on the fifth of a month, it runs until the fourth of the next month and not one more year or, or one and a half more months or three more months, but it is one month whenever you decide to quit. Yeah, I was going to say to clarify that again, because usually the outer renewal happens for another year. Currently. But in this case, currently, but in, in this new contract law, it will happen. They can extend it automatically still, but just for one month. And they have to inform you about it. Yeah. So that's super cool. Yeah. Uh, number three is that now any online uh, website or whatever that offers contracts online, they need to have a visible cancel button. Yes. So you can easily click it to cancel your contract. Huh, that is revolutionary. That is super revolutionary. So In no Germany, more, that is crazy. No more shady yeah. research. How can I cancel my contract? Sending a letter. But any product or service that can be bought online, even if you didn't buy it online, yeah. but if it is offered online for sale, it needs to be able oh. to cancel with a button. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's see how people are going to implement that yeah. next year. And the last one or the last change that will happen is that electricity and gas companies, companies will not be able to sell your contract on the phone anymore. I wish they would do that for telecommunication companies too, though. Yeah, they didn't expand it in that yeah. area. <laughs> but that's cool. So that's already a change, I would say, in the right direction. Yeah. yeah. So looking forward to 2022 and all these contract changes in Germany, because really, uh, it has been a ride. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that like button and that subscription uh, button if you're not subscribed already. This is the easiest way that you can support Simple Germany so our channel grows and other international people can find this useful information. And if you want to go the extra mile, you can also click on the link below to our coffee page where you can support the channel uh, via a donation um, in the form or in the value of a coffee. Mm. You can um, change the amount that you'd like to donate and also the, um, the frequency. You can do it a one-off, one-time or also a monthly reoccurring um, um, sub subscription and support if you are um, really a keen fan. <laughs> yeah, we thank you for any support that you give us, whether the like or a coffee support. And we hope you have a really nice week and we will see you next Monday. Until then, cheers! cheers.